as the summer movie season comes to an end, it's easy to say this has been one of the most controversial summers ever in cinematic history. So we figured, why not do a summer 2016 movie roundup? First up, Ghostbusters. It was good. What did you say? Oh great, you again. That's right, and I happen to know that that particular movie was a horrible abomination. What are you talking about? Yeah, compared to the original, it wasn't great, but it was a funny in points, and it was a worthy addition to the franchise. Well, I've been watching your so-called vlog review series and YouTube light words give a good review to every movie you've seen. What are you talking about? We hated Transformers 4. Roll the clips. It was great. The movie was great. This is a really good... Otherwise, this was a really good movie. Yes. It, I, it was fun. It was a really fun time. It was really fun. What? Age of Ultron. And awesome. Oh my god. It's not great. It's good. It's good. Not great. I, I really liked this movie. I, I loved it from start to finish. That was horrible! I know! It sucked! I mean, I th just when you thought that Transformers 4 was going to be the worst movie we did on this show. I know! It was so much worse than Batman v Superman. I never want to hear anyone talk shit about that movie ever again because this one was just so bad. I know! It sucked! It sucked! Why did it that Marvel have to suck on this one? Okay, I think they've pretty much figured it out by now. It was awesome! It was the best! I liked it. Wow, low lighting is not our friends. That's not the point. You just said Civil War was great when it was, a, it was cliche and mediocre. Yes, but it took those cliches and made them new and fun again when, while introducing brand new characters to the MCU. Would you constantly put it out flaws and what was essentially the same movie with Batman v Superman? BBS and executed everything, everything plot point for plot point, but did but did it in a way that it could be shot full of holes. Okay, what about Ghostbusters? Well, what about it? Well, obviously the trailer looked horrible and had women as leads. Are you really such a misogynist that you wouldn't uh, that you wouldn't let that go? No, because the original is sacred and girls are icky. Oh look, a movie with a badass female hero. And besides, we had a movie this uh, another movie this summer with one of the f leads being female. Oh, you mean the movie that is so loved by fans that it proves that Disney has been buying out to critics and that Rotten Tomatoes needs to be shut down? Yeah, because it's not like Disney had a critical flop from literally a month after Batman v Superman came out. Oh, wait. Well, of course you would, too, would defend them. You're self-professed Marvel fanboys. Do we have that? It's a viral video that came out recently. It basically explains how we are, as Marvel fans and boys, feeling about this movie. But it's n but we're very excited for this movie. More excited than we were for Batman v Superman. Sorry, DC people, but but it's just but that's just fa a fact. This is, actually, Marvel had 12 movies to build up their awesome their awesome team up movie a movie of two heroes fighting each other. Other than Superman, we only had Man of Steel with DC. Come on, I don't know why we're arguing. It, you know, everyone is entitled to their own opinion, right? Yeah, but I'm a random person on the internet, so my opinion is the only one that matters! Isn't there like some spam filter or something to get rid of you? There's no spam filter on video, you SJW cucks! Oh look, here it is. Uh-oh. Now that's over. Wanna watch Ghostbusters? Sure. Oh, and by the way, if you want to see any of the stuff that we showed clips for, link to our second channel down below. Check it out. It's called Still Bros of the Movies. Movies.